हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई वांट टू डिस्कस विद यू ऑल व्हाई इज लाइफ सफरिंग यू सी मोस्ट ऑफ द सफरिंग इज कॉज्ड बाय अवर नेचर ऑफ एंडलेस डिजायर्स नेवर गेटिंग कंटेंटेड नेवर गेटिंग सेटिस्फाइड इवन गौतम बुद्ध सेड दैट द रूट कॉज ऑफ All suffering was Trishna, which can, which can be translated as thirst. And even the Bhagavad Gita says that the root cause of all suffering is Kamna or desires. So, from where do these desires become such a strong and dominant part of our psychology? You see, desires. and seeking only exists in the animal world it does not exist in plants and trees this is because only animals need to seek food and safety and sexual partners you no know, plants have other mechanisms of getting this primarily food they are fundamentally different from us being autotrophs they can directly tap into the energy of the sun and so they do not need to seek food for animals they need to seek food and direct their thought and action towards that goal that is why you know desires and seeking evolved in the animal world the hormones and neurotransmitters that are that cause this desire and seeking and wanting you know dopamine is one of them the reward system of our brain is exists only in the animal world and exists in some form of the other in almost all the animals that is why they are you know driven to seek and they are driven towards a particular form of action which benefits them now in the natural world there did not exist a mechanism where uh an excess of want or desires became a problem you know because in the natural world resources are so limited and so competitive that uh, no animal finds itself in a condition of seeking too much right so humans on the other hand have created an abundance of resources it is a peculiar situation and it has brought uh, great welfare and uh, improved quality of life for us however it has also made us face a critical problem because there is no natural mechanism for restricting our desires we go on seeking even after having enough for us for many generations you know in the animal world there was never a chance that any animal can have too much for it i mean i mean it is it is extremely rare but we developed mechanisms where there is for one an abundance of resources and we developed uh, economic constructs like money which allow even more accumulation you know had we accumulated an abundance of food and uh, you know other natural things you know they are perishable they uh, reduce in value with time and so there is a time limit till which they can be stored and accumulated and eventually you know if you have accumulated too much we you know instead of destroying it 
we we will uh, most probably choose to give it away right even even in my home uh, which is a traditional agrarian home uh, when there is a large crop of uh, anything you know the few uh, about a decade ago there was a, a huge more than a decade ago there was a, a large produce of you know onion and we had to give it away you know in the, in the village to other families other homes because it would have all gone bad within our uh, you know storage rooms so in the natural world you know resources reduce in value with time but by creation of this economic uh, constructs like assets and money we try to do completely the reverse you know we try to uh, increase their value with time which does not happen in the natural world which can never happen in the natural world so there were multiple safeguards natural systemic safeguards against extreme desires in the natural world one was you know the availability of resources there the resources were are not available in such an abundance that uh, in the natural world that uh, animals can over accumulate and the second is the the perishability of the resources so the resources go bad with time that also prevents over accumulation and over desires you know endless desires cannot exist because what will you do with all that accumulated things a third thing that i have studied is uh, that i have also proposed in previous articles is civilization and law and order you know in the natural world over accumulation is protected against by the lack of law and order you know if some individual or member accumulates a lot of something it will get attacked and it will it will face you know death and injury but by creation of civilization and law and order which has brought a lot of good to our society no doubt but it has indirectly resulted in over accumulation not being punished rather being rewarded that is why these three safeguards the availability of resources we conquered by increased production and abundance the perishability of resources we conquered by creating constructs like money and assets which increase in value with time which is completely against what happens in the natural world you know in the natural world resources lose their value with time and the third is law and order and civilization which promoted and rewarded accumulation of resources rather than punishing it which happens in the natural world you know over accumulation in the natural world leads to attacks and raids and and injury and death right so because you know because these safeguards existed in the natural world there was no need for restricting for developing a mechanism of restriction of desires because desires could never increase endlessly right there was never an opportunity for the animal to accumulate far too much but we conquered all these safeguards and we created a system where our desires can increase endlessly and since there are no natural safeguards they keep on increasing endlessly we even after having far much 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 better life than any other animal we continue complaining we continue being discontented and dissatisfied uh, you know there is a, a, a famous uh, uh, poetry by you know it has been attributed to kabir and some other indian poets 
uh, in, in the in the medieval times it is in hindi it is uh, the lines are pani mein meen hai pyasi mujhe sun sun aave hasi you know it is it is saying that the fish is thirsty in the water and i can only laugh you know uh, the poet is saying so uh what it means to say is that we have everything you know i have a full stomach today i am protected from the weather i have a place to sleep i have a healthy body what more is needed isn't this such a huge blessing you know i am walking right now on the banks of yamuna but i am almost almost certain of reaching safely to my home due to law and order due to civilization lot of things right so <clears throat> there are so many blessings you know we have from life being a continuous daily struggle for survival we have conquered all of these challenges and it is amazing uh, we we can congratulate ourselves for that but by conquering the challenges of survival which any every other animal is faced with every other animal faces daily the challenge of survivability now we have converted that challenge to the challenge of contentment every day we face the challenge of controlling our mind our thoughts and that has become the primary challenge for humans so it is good that um, we have been able to conquer all this um, all the other challenges that nature had given us but understanding these things we also need to work towards conquering the other challenges of life like you know our thoughts and mind and try to be more contented and less ambitious and less seeking and wanting right so this is all that i wanted to share thank you for your time and thank you for listening if you have any thoughts please feel free to share with them uh, them with me in comments thank you so much